All right, guys, Ian Anderson and Ben Baker from Central Coast Disc Golf. Say what's up, Ben. What's up, Ben? <laughs> Oops, I mean, what's up, guys? <laughs> that's, that's close enough. And we are incredibly <laughs> lucky to be joined by Jade Sewell, who is the uh, tournament director of the Utah Open. Say what's up, Jade. Hello, what's going on? There you go. And why don't you tell us a little bit about the tournament? How long has it been going on and all that good stuff? Uh, this is going to be our third year coming up in 17. So the one you're about to watch is our second year. Um, Innova was our title sponsor and it's basically a week long of, uh, quite a bit of, you know, we've got a lot of different events going on that whole week. Awesome, man. You, you, you troll Facebook when the Utah Open is happening and all you hear is just pros going, oh my God, this is amazing. So it, it sounds like a great experience, man. Great. Cool. All right, guys. Well, uh, let's watch some disc golf. All right. Ooh, let's do it. All right, gang, 2016 Utah Open, presented by Nova Champion Discs. And we're at a ball golf course, Jade. Yep, this is Mulligan's in Marriott Slaterville near Ogden, Utah. And this is, like I said, this is our second year. Cool. It's a really, a really cool course, really creative pin placements, really cool fairways. And these golf golf fairways are, are challenging, Jade. They're, they're fast. Yes, very fast and very challenging for design. It's got to function with the ball golfers, and so that's that's the trick is to keep everything off of their fairways and make it flow with them. Yeah, I think you set up a great course and definitely provides a lot of challenge. It should be fun to watch. So we got a cool card: Paul Yulberry, Tyson Segway, Spencer Hill, Drew Gibson, and Justin Billadu. And we are starting off on hole one, 711 feet. And tell us about the hole, Jade. This one's pretty straightforward. Fairway right down the middle, water to the right, a uh, few trees to the left, and that's about it. Cool. Yuli on the tee. Certified Crusher, sponsored by Prodigy Discs. Good hole for these big arms to just open up and let out a huge drive, and then it really comes down to pinpointing a second shot if you want to try to get the birdie. Yeah, it seems like difficulty is definitely on that second shot. Yeah, that's kind of the... Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, no, go ahead. Kind of the story of this whole course is the second shot. Super tricky. Yeah, it kind of seems like it. And, Jed, you were saying Tyson's been playing for like a year or something? That yeah, right? that's what I heard. I heard June. Yeah, basically June, the, the month right after this tournament, it had been a year is what I heard. That's that's just bananas because yeah. he's really good. <laughs> this is uh, Spencer Hill right here? Spencer, yeah. He's, I believe it's West Valley. Um Local guy comes up every once in a while, the mulligans. Cool. Pretty perfect drive, center cut. And we got certified bomber, Drew Gibson. Got 600 feet of power if he wants it. Let's see what he does right here. Casual 450 crash. You know, yeah. Not really trying yeah. too hard. Perfectly played. Oh, was that a Raz or is that somebody else's drive? I'm not sure what's going on there. Maybe throwing in on 18, possibly. There we go. <laughs> and we got Justin Billadu. And Ben, you're saying this guy was too much fun? Oh, yeah, Justin. Great dude. Real funny. And great beard. Great beard. Yeah, one of the top. It, it plays. Great drive, too. Yeah, great that's, drive. That's smashed. Setting himself up nicely. You want to be center left or right on this one, Jade, after your first shot? In my opinion, you want to be right. Right, okay. You got these trees here that... Tyson had to deal with, and that's not good. Yep, and he kind of turned that one over a little too much. Wouldn't probably get up and down for his par, most likely. Uh, Spencer going compass. Too much hyzer. That is. Carries over the hill left. Going to have a, a long comeback putt. And Uli's second shot. Yeah, we'll see in a second. There's a pretty good steep runoff behind the basket. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it looks like a really tough one to get to stay close. Exactly. That's why the better the drive, the easier the upshot. Indeed, sir. Drew Gibson. Because if you get greedy and go to that hill, it looks like it's pretty easy to land in the sand trap. Uh, like so. Uh, there there it, it is. That was unintentional foreshadowing. <laughs> Justin Villadu. Great last name. Yeah, I'm surprised you're doing so well with it. Thanks. <laughs> Look at that one's fading out a little early. Well, that should be able to salvage par, though. Now this is Tyson's third shot. A little bit of a tester. Yeah. Uh, only coming back for his birdie, not so much. Uh, Justin also coming back for the bird. 
Cool. Good run. Yeah. Spencer doing the same. It's a popular shot going long on your second one here. Yeah, better long than short, right? Because of the sand. That's for sure. So Drew had the, the uh, penalty stroke, but managed to save his part at least. Yeah, he's not afraid of the beach. He's from yeah. California. <laughs> right? <laughs> Tyson. I believe that's also a par save. Solid putt right there. That was kind of a scary putt. That could go pretty far if you missed. Exactly. Yeah. Justin dropping in the par. Booley. Hurt. Or Paul's hurt right now. You see that? Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, he's supposed to come out for the Southwest Team Challenge out here in San Diego, but uh, pulled out due to injury, apparently. Looking forward to watching That's that. too bad. Yeah. A bunch of little par frame here, and went on to hole two, three sixty nine, Jade. This one's probably the the hardest, second hardest hole in the whole course. Wow! And you'll see why here in a second. And Yuli. Very small landing area. Not only small landing area, but wow! Wow! That's as perfect as it gets. That was fantastic. Yeah. But there's water behind the basket, too. Oh, is there? Oh, wow. Which you couldn't quite see on that shot, but it's right behind, you know, maybe 30 feet past the basket. So what happened to Tyson's there? Uh, a, little think... short. a little short. Yeah. Okay. Safe shot gone wrong. <laughs> Spencer threw on the enforcer. An overstable high-speed driver, but that one actually flew pretty straight. Well, it flipped on him a bit. I think he meant to keep the hyzer line, but a lot tighter. And he is getting wet. Yep. Uh, Drew throwing the forehand. This is probably the safest, you know, way to, to play this hole, to be honest. Uh huh. There's lots of landing area on that side, and people don't utilize that shot as much yeah. as they should. Not everybody has a Drew Gibson forehand either. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the thing. It's probably the easiest par, but uh, it's tough to get your forehand all the way there around the trees. Yeah. And then drives don't get much better than this. This is looking tasty. Wow. Nice. <laughs> so, uh, the beard approves. Yeah, it does. Tyson is laying up. Should we tap it in from there? And, uh, Spencer for par after getting wet on the drive. Got him taking a four. Yeah, good try. Mm -hmm. Justin coming back after the almost ace. Good putt. <laughs> I like That's pretty cool when you almost ace and still get the birdie. Yeah, it is. Feels good. Uh, Drew, after that solid forehand, has this for a two. Uh, wow. Oh, hoo, hoo. <laughs> Getting squeaky. Yep. Mr. Clean. Mm -hmm. Ooh, for bird? Yep. That's a solid drive on a really tough old jade. Yeah, that's a, that's a tough one. Got it. We were going to change it, but I think we're going to leave it that way for next year. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, it's a good hole. Make it, make it work for it. Yeah. Uh, Spence clean up the four. Uh, Tyson, I believe that's a part for him. As long as he stayed in bounds on the drive. I believe so. He did, oh, no, but oh. He, he did get yep. wet, didn't he? That's where that went. Yep. I wonder we couldn't find it. It was underwater. <laughs> we're on to hole three, Jade. Four hundred five foot par three. This one's tricky. It's got sand to the right, big skips. There's a sidewalk right down the middle and water to the left. Oh wow. What's the, what's the preferred line here? Just a big hyzer or? A big high, sky hyzer coming in and landing right near the basket. Yep. And that green is flagged off OB as well, right? Correct. Wait. Yeah. Oh, easier. Ooh. Wow. That was a great shot. Really, almost days. You're dead. Very close. Let's see if Drew can follow that one up. Oh, and by the way, to the listeners uh, at home, this uh, has a unique format in that the concrete path is okay if you're within the 30-foot circle or the 10-meter circle. Oh, that's right, yes. Ooh, wow. Drew's throwing a felon 400 feet. Yeah. Not so, like, Uli and Drew's drives would have been safe if they were on the path. Gotcha. Uh, Justin... And then this is the danger of throwing the straight shot. Yep, that is. Oh. That's a layup shot, but it's a, it's smart. It's a smart shot. Was he safe? Uh, short of the sand there? Yeah, short of the sand, yep. Nice. Yeah. Ooh, Tyson turned that one over a little too much. 
There's another safe drive almost gone wrong. Oh my goodness. Yep. Getting real flirty. And Spencer. Didn't know he could throw a harp. If I have that uh, right. far right, I guess. Yeah. So you throw him that hard. Yeah. It's looking great. Yeah. Gonna stay dry this, on this drive. Oh. And it looks like he's in the sand, but he's actually not. Oh, there he is on the hill right there. Yep. Wow, what a great drive. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Tyson looking to get up and down for his par. Did that sit back? Huh? I think so, yeah. Yeah, look good. Yeah, a just spike it. on that one. Mm -hmm. uh, a little long. Nice little backstop. Yep. Yeah. yeah, he actually would have been in a pretty tough position if he had ended up on the other side of that tree. Yeah, that's a... Not a very friendly putting tree. Oh, ooey. <laughs> oh, ouch. Yeah. Uh, Drew, I need a stroke on Paul. In the card. Oh. Oh, that would be a good one to get right there. Well, not if Spencer makes this. Oh, that's true, huh? Yeah, Spencer got real close. Forgot about that. Yeah, what a birdie. Well done, sir. Getting strokes on folks. Spencer was also a relatively new player. Really? Yeah, uh, as you might have seen at the start, he uh, hasn't even established a rating yet at this point. Oh, wow. Yeah. There's uh, Tyson clean up the par. Justin hoping to do the same. And Paul will come along eventually and do that after Drew. Did Paul already clean up? Did I miss it? There is the birdie from Spencer. Get a stroke on the card. That uh, everyone is one down, so for him and Tyson, and we're on to hole four, four fifty-three. This is a bomb for a par three, Jade. Yep, and mostly over water. Uh, pretty much, you don't want to hyzer left; you want to stay right on this shot. Yeah, so it seems like the, the safe shot here is just kind of bail out to the right. Correct. Well, kind of looks like what Spencer is doing. So just a, a routine par, which is kind of pretty smart golf in this hole. The distance. Yeah, it's pretty gutsy to attack this one 100%, but it looks like Paul's doing that. Mm -hmm. And, oh, wow. wow. Yeah, that's nice. Paul, uh, Paul's feeling it. Made it look easy, too. It did. That is a long way to throw a disc. <laughs> Drew Gibson. Is that a felony again, man? Yeah, I think that's his, uh, he's got a couple of felons, and that's the Captain America standpoint. Very cool. Plays a little bit safe. Should be an easy up and down par. Yeah. Justin throwing the destroyer. Good nice, shot. Yeah, it's a nice turn. Get some late fade on that one. It'll probably even have a long putt from there. Yeah, kind of a scary putt with that water so close, but <laughs> yeah. it's there if he wants it. Tyson, get a little Yankee. <laughs> that, that's how I'd play it, to be yeah. honest. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is the way to miss, isn't it? Yeah. So here is his but. second shot. Just going to be laying up for par. I don't know if I'd throw a hyzer at this one, but he did. Seems like he'd almost want to throw a little Annie with some late fade to get that, that flat landing. Yeah. He probably just uh, feels like the overstable Cenus is a, a smart bet in any wind condition. Not true. Uh, Drew for bird. He's running this. Give it a nice... Uh, high enough to up quickly. Yeah. And Justin also for a two. two. Oh my goodness. He wanted it. He sure did. And Paul, I believe, went just a little bit long. It's coming back for his two. Yep. Oh, oh no. Now you notice uh, Paul's not putting his typical style this... Uh, weekend. No, he's not having he's the typical results either. No, it's true. Yeah. yeah. Um, but for whatever reason, he was breaking out a hyzer putt this weekend, and uh, you can see it's a little off, at yeah. least at this point. All the cool kids do hyzer putt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if that was the reason, but... <laughs> <laughs> he is like... Uh, he and MJ and uh, Doss are kind of like the Annie putters. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Tyson's the front flip putter. Yeah, he is. <laughs> That's the look of a man who knows he got away with one right there. <laughs> yeah. There's Uli clean up the par. Not stoked. No. Mm. 
Yeah, look at the but, scenery, just unreal for a disc golf course. Yeah. Mountains, yeah. snow capped. So the thing is, we're playing at elevated sea level here, or, you know, far above sea level. Uh huh. So it is a way to disc fly. Hey, um, what's it at, Jade? The Jade. Yeah, about 4,400 feet is where that course is roughly. Wow, that definitely has an effect on the disc right there. Yeah. Almost a mile high. Yeah, very close. Oh, we're on to hole five, six ninety six. That seems like the again, like your common theme, Jade. The second shot is the tough one here with the the water close to the basket. Exactly, and the skips on this fairway are notorious. Yeah, we're looks, skipping to the left. Yeah, it looks like it almost slanted that way towards the water. Correct. Just yep. a little bit. That was a good drive. Uh, center cut. Paul going Heiser line. Interesting. I think this is the extra safe approach. It really is, isn't it? You know, I assume someone who can throw as hard as Uli probably throws a lot of overstable plastic, and you just don't want to take your chances with the water. Yep. Especially not first round of a tournament like this. It would really uh, suck to lose your first, one of your favorite discs right. four or five holes into it. Yeah. Uh, Drew smashed that one. Wow. Yeah, and that's just a fairway driver, a long bowman. Wow, that went real far. Yeah. Justin looking to keep up with the Gibsons. Pulled this one a little bit, but it's it's safe over there. Yeah, that's a that's actually a really good shot. Yeah, I think he ends oh, up wow. getting CTP here even. He got some good fade on that one. I think he's uh, played here before. I was anticipating some big skips at the end. Mm -hmm. Local knowledge pays off. <laughs> Tyson. Put that one over. Oh, he seems like he's pulling everything right here in the early going. He is, yeah. But he's making his up shots and hanging around. He is, isn't he? Yeah. Second shot, this does not look easy. No. <laughs> and once again, goes right. Yeah, a little yank <laughs> job again. That will keep you uh, dry. It will. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so far, anyway. <laughs> Put water on the right side. Yep. I'd be in trouble. The good miss. Here's yeah. Yuli. He has a long upshot after that uh, kind of really safe drive, but he did it well. Really played that short grass well. Mm-hmm. Spence going felon. A little dangerous. All three of these local guys, Spencer, Tyson, and uh, Justin, really some of the nicest dudes I've met in all my time Very cool. filming and watching disc golf. Okay. Uh, it's a uh, pleasure getting all their disc info and stuff. Very cool. Yeah, it's always nice when they get back to that stuff. Yeah. Great up shot from Drew there. Yeah, he had a fantastic drive, and so did Justin. Wow. Justin yeah. throws far. Oh, yeah. I actually really like this hole. It's one of my favorites on the course. Mm hmm. I like the little, almost like pencil of green there. Yeah. Tyson's third, just laying it for his four. Well done, sir. And this is Spencer with his third. That's a birdie look, but plays smart. It's, whoa. So we're down. <laughs> a little extra roll, yeah. Yeah, it was weird. Just got up and grew legs. No, but I think he does get saved by the bank. Wow, he did, didn't he? Yeah. True for Bird. A little bit of a death oh, putt. Just what you don't want, but he also saved by the reeds over there. Oh, yeah, you can see right there. Oh, oh man. Holy buddy. It's hard to watch. Gotta be frustrated at this point. Drew comes back and saves par. I believe Justin should be able to do the same. Spencer saves his par after that little roll. Out of nowhere. <laughs> good, good par right there, Jay. All in the beard. <laughs> yeah. Tyson guides pops. the disc. It does. That's why you gotta tilt your head up when you putt so mm -hmm. it can kind of push it points right at it. Oh, that is a, that is a non-stoked Uli. He's usually stoked. No, I mean, his throws are fantastic so far. It's yeah, just they, uh, the putting. True story, sir. He's also one of the nicest guys on tour, man. I always love filming Paul. Usually Absolutely. He's in a great yep. mood. And I went on the hole six, and this is Island Green, Jake? Yes, this is an island hole with a drop zone. Um, it, it's pretty straightforward. Probably the sh one of the shortest holes on the course. It looks like you just Second. kind of chuck it into the hill, right? Correct. Yep. Oof. Stays in the in the island just barely. And Paul Paul's going forehand, which 
interesting, but he's got a good forehand, so I can't blame him. I really don't know about it, though. It just seems like a weird choice given how wide you have to go to get on the green in the first place, and then oh. there's that roll. Oh, my God. He's like two inches outside, too. <laughs> Brutal. Rough break. Yeah. Uh, Drew taking the backhand line after watching Uli go OB. Yeah, that looks that's, good. that's the throw right there. Yeah, that's, might be getting two strokes on Paul, at least one. And Justin. Throwing the P2. Fantastic driving putter. Big fan of that disc. Great shot. Good stuff, man. Yeah. Tyson Sagboy. Taking the harp. Kind of a bold move. 260 feet, and you got to throw over 200 to get in that eye. Yeah. You know, over 230, probably, for that matter. Mm -hmm. Gets it but he does it. He did, yeah. Yeah. And here is... Paul for par. Oh, nice. Dang, he made that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of didn't see that coming after his previous putting performances, but... He needed he... to get outside the circle. Yeah, I guess, right? Get his jump putt going. <laughs> yeah. Tyson, uh, clean up the birdie. I think Spencer missed his birdie putt. We're going to be salvaging a par. Did everybody get golf carts, Jade? No. Uh, camera people, and I had some... Uh, let's see. I, pretty much just camera people, to be honest. I'm, I'm, Filming I'm, I'm down with that. Photographers. <laughs> good call. <laughs> A man after my own heart right there. That's good stuff. And that was Drew with a drop-in bird. And Justin as well. Those are some fantastic drives right there. That's what it seems like you want you really want to get, Jade. Yep, absolutely. Got to get a two on that one for sure. Mm -hmm. You're feeling bad if you don't. Now uh, we are on to hole seven, 546 foot part three. Um, I'd never even dream of getting a birdie. This this one's tricky. It's got the uh, ball golf green to the left, uh -huh. sand to the right, water to the left also. Wow. Very tricky. And you're going to throw it real far. Drew... Oh, oh, green, isn't it? OB on the green. Oh. Yep. Should be able to get a four at least, though. Yep. It's not too far from the pin. Uh, Justin, look at that Star Destroyer. 168's a great weight, too. That's one of my favorites. Destroyers seem to go real far. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. I think he's, he's just shy of the green. And just past the water. That's uh, true. <laughs> Tyson. It's pulling it over to the right for the U. But yeah, it's like, still pulling it. Seems like it's again, it's a good miss though, right? You know? The water's still on the left. Oh my Yeah, goodness. look at that. Oh no. Oh, oh. safe, I think. I'm not sure about that actually. Oh, I don't know. I'm, if I'm remembering, I think he went OB, but we'll find out. Uh, okay. Paul throwing the Heiser flip to Annie. And then watch this. That is tracking beautifully. Ooh. Beautiful finish, and oh my. Pretty dick. 538 foot five. drive. Yeah, that was amazing. Paul throws far. Uh, Spencer is fading out early. Hopefully, that avoids water and green. I don't think it did. Oh, but he might be on the bank. I don't know. Hard yeah, to tell. It did look really I can see the disc. He might be on the bank. Yeah. So Tyson was OB. He's yeah, playing Tyson for did roll OB. Far now. Got a little bit more of a bogey putt than he wanted. Spencer should be able to make that one. Justin prepared him. Walk up jumper. Tap in par on this one. No shame in that at all. And Drew after the OB drive going for three. Uh oh. A little on the aggressive side and rolls just outside the state oh, no. circle. Ouch. So he's going to be throwing. For 17, for 17, the sidewalks will all be in play. We're not making them OB. Oh, okay. oh it's got 17. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a good five that's, save at least. Yeah, five. Double bogey there. Dang. But I feel like uh, Drew's got enough game to recover from that. Oh, definitely, yeah. Tyson, that's a good, good four save. Yeah. 
There is Paul for a ridiculous. No. Oh my. Really. That hurt. I was breaking my. I was breaking my heart right there. <laughs> yeah. We could have made a video of that one. That would have been video <laughs> video worthy. <laughs> Like a no, Billy Ray Cyrus achy breaky heart video? Yeah, something like that, man. <laughs> yeah, sweet soundtrack and everything. Yeah. Um, but uh, Spencer dropping in there is uh, Justin with a really nice par. Ooly, buddy. Oh, man. Ouch. Uh, Spencer with a par as well. That's going to take us to uh, hole 8, 360 feet. Jay, this one like on the other side of the hill, basically? Yeah, this one's on top. Top okay. of that hill, we call it the giant killer. If you, if you hyzer too far to the left, you're in the water and sand right underneath the basket to the right. Wow. There he is. That's pretty good. It sits. Oh. Ooh, big skip. Perfect. That is the thing. Is if it sits. Yeah, that's. Like a, it's that's really a... hard to actually get your drive on the side of this hill. Yeah, it's a tough stick. Uh, ooh. That's the best way to throw this hole. You, need, you take that sand out when you just throw it straight at the basket wow, like that. Beautiful. Yeah, you're probably not going to get a big, huge straight skip, right? Yeah. Unless you get landed in the face of the hill. Spencer, fading out early. Let's see where that one ends up. Tyson going PD. Fantastic disc. Kind of in between a T bird oh, and a T bird. It goes right again. <laughs> it goes right again. But it's coming back, and he actually will be on the side of the hill. Yeah, he keeps missing well, you know? Yeah, yeah. exactly. And Drew, you know, he's going to be attacking this one. He's got the power. And did that just come out really early? Yeah, he threw it up in the air way too early. Yeah. Is that getting wet? Ooh. Yeah, it looks like it. I got real wet. Uh, Spencer from outside has a look, but with this mound action, it's a dangerous run. So he, he smartly lays up. Justin also has a pretty look, but also a little sketchy. That's it. Tyson's a little closer than I thought for two. Got it. Nice putt. Good looking putt right there. How about the mountain in the background? All credit due to Rex Harris working second camera on a short. Uh, Sure, yeah, yeah. his volunteer job. Awesome. Well, thanks, sir. Yep. There you go. Paul didn't miss that one, guys. No. No. Thank God. God. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely leaving some strikes out there, but I uh, got that one at least. Looks like this hole's almost over, Ian. Mm hmm. Justin. Rebar? He's taking his time. He is. No! <laughs> oh no! Ouch! That mound putting is—it's scary. Uh, At least that one's sad. Oh, it goes from an easy par to a—well, not easy par, but a par to a five. But if anybody come back from that, it's Justin, right? <laughs> Yeah, and Justin's got a cool head. I'm sure he'll get back. Yeah, great attitude. Sure. Uh, some really good birdies from Paul and a, a great putt from Tyson right there. Getting back to even. Uh, Lily's leading the card at two now. Taking us to the last hole of part one. We got hole nine, 819 foot part four. What's the game plan here, Jade? This one's just a huge, wide open fairway. There's a little bit of water to the left, but nobody will go in that water. So okay. Pretty open, open fairway. Yeah. Well. Whoa. Right as I say that. <laughs> Paul smashes four, one up there. Four, four. Is he going to stay? Yeah, Ooh. wait. Wait to the left. There is a green over there. It's super rare, but as you see, it can happen. Is that where you landed? Yeah, yeah. there's ac actually a green over on the other fairway over oh, there. Wow. Fortunate. Uh, Tyson turning one over, but looks to be by design. Yeah, that's kind of, there's two ways to attack this from what I saw. There's either kind of a left fairway or a right fairway. Mm -hmm. Right fairway sets you up for a nice big hyzer on your second shot. Left fairway probably plays you more for a sidearm, but it gets you closer to the basket. Okay. Spencer with just a rip. Yeah. 
Good one, Gary. Yeah. Beautiful flip on that one. True. Good one, Felon. Hmm. So he's going left fairway, Ben? Yeah. I think he's trying to get his way over there. There it is right there. Yep. And Justin. Turn. Going for some max D action right here. Yeah. I think we'll see him play the right fairway with the turn. Mm -hmm. And it looks really good. And Justin. Justin's got a cannon. Oh, yeah. Right <laughs> in the middle of the fairway. Perfect. Yeah, he's got a big boy arm. Yep. Uh, Tyson up first with the second shots. On again, like you say, Jade, tough second shots on these par fours. Exactly. And there is sand, as you can see, to the right of the basket. Yep. Yeah, yeah not always, like always challenging. Yeah, should be a, just off a four for Tyson, it looks like. Kind of close, but it looks like a long putt. And so we're looking at Uli's third shot after the OP drive. He's going to be a little off to the left, but that's safe over there. Mm -hmm. Spencer? Where did he, did he hit a tree there at the end? He hit a tree on the way in, yeah. yeah. Oh, did he? I didn't see that. I think he'll be left with about a 50 footer. Okay. Uh, Drew, second shot going forehand, probably playing a little fade into the pool. Uh, that worked. Perfect. Hard to tell whether the tree helped or hurt there. That might have been going in. I, yeah. I bet, I, bet, I bet you take it. <laughs> yeah. Hard to complain about tap in birdies. Exactly. And that looks like a putt right there. I right, hear is Tyson for the bird. Oh. oh, what a run. Wow. Smiling all the way. I right, hear is yep. Spencer's. Thing. That's a little shorter than it might have looked there. Yeah. He's so, going to have some work to do still to save par. He laid up his layup. But yeah. <laughs> Spencer for par. Oh, good putt, dude. Good putt. And Justin looking safe. Oh, is this for birdie? He had a good, good second shot after that bomb drive. Ooh. Does not capitalize. Ooh. The par save, I believe. Was that a... That was a bird for Drew there. That was yeah. great. Yeah, yeah, Drew was an absolute drop-in. That's a par for Tyson. If I recall well. correctly, this is a really close nine-hole score. That is... Yeah. It does not get much closer, dude. <laughs> well, that was a bogey for Paul. Um, but, yeah, one stroke off of all being tied. That is all we got for part one, guys. Round... I'm oh, sorry, part two will be following shortly. Round two and three, right? Is that the, and then a final nine? Oh, uh, yeah, and there's a showcase that uh, Safari's out this 18-hole layout into nine holes, and it is very exciting. Very cool. Should be a fun watch. Um, thanks for everything, Ben. Jade, huge thank you for joining us. Good times, man. Thank you, guys. Yeah. I know. Thanks, for, thank you, everyone, for watching, and we'll catch you around.